everyone, Organic Keys here. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. So today we're going to do another subby scenario. Subby scenario, A. Okay, I'm doing too much. One of my lovely, lovely, beautiful subscribers hit me up and asked me for my advice and I'm kind of shook. This is something that I love doing and I'm so glad that you guys are trusting me enough to ask me for my advice. So I'm really, really excited about doing this one. This one's actually kind of interesting as well. I have a lot of opinion on this. So she says, hi Keisha. Hey boom! I hope you get this email and are able to respond. I love you and your channel and really enjoy getting to hear your godly wisdom and ideas. Keep going, girl. The encouragement is so awesome. Thank you. I am black who lives in England. So she is from England. She's black. So I gave my life to Christ when I was 15 years old and within these three years with God, several guys have popped into my life, but every guy would turn out to be a no. Then I kind of decided by my own terms that God doesn't want me in a relationship right now at all. So I've been focusing on my growth with God. Fantastic. However, this is the dilemma and confusion I have in my mind. These guys are always black. I used to be attracted to them physically, but not anymore. Not that I see them as ugly, because I know everyone is beautiful or that I have bad experiences it was just a genuine switch I generally have no clue why but Asian guys have been drawn to my attention recently God knows my heart desires so is it wrong for me this is the question here is it wrong for me to have a preference and pray for my preference aren't my preferences and desires taken into account at the same time I don't know if the switch is God given or just my ideas any thoughts much love and blessings your way quiche let's get right up in this joint. All right, I love this because I have been in the same spot. There was a season of time where I've always been attracted to a lot of different races. I've never been attracted to just one. Black guys, white guys, Spanish guys, Asian guys. It didn't really matter if he was fine, that was it. Like my cousin says, fine has no color, no creed, okay? There was different seasons in my life that I was attracted to a specific genre of men. I watched a movie and the lead character, one of the lead characters was Middle Eastern and literally from Israel like he was Israeli and man the man was beautiful he was gorgeous I was like dang like that is the epitome of what good looking is and what's crazy is that at that time I was reading a lot of the Old Testament so there's a lot of you know about the children of Israel and about them as a people them as a nation that it was just kind of interesting that my shift was now shifting to being attracted to them and I was just like you know Dang, that's what I want, God. Like, that's what I want. I want somebody who is Israeli. I want somebody who's from the motherland. Like, I want somebody who's rooted in this history. Now, there's a huge, huge, huge danger in that, which I'm going to get to next. But understand that you're going to have different preferences, okay? Like, as the wind blows, honestly, it's going to change. You might see in three years down the road, if you're still single, that your preference changes back to black men or probably to white men. It will change. We change. And we can't base such a huge decision on something that's so superficial. So now let's take it back to like the reality of the situation. It is a very dangerous thing to put God in a box. God does not belong in any of our boxes period. If you feel like I'm attracted to Asian men, that's cool. But it's another thing to then box God to God, you're only going to give me somebody who's Asian. Especially if this is something that you express openly. We have to remember that the enemy, he prays like a lion seeking who he may devour. He studies us. He, he really is a student of children of God. He watches your tendencies. He watches what you like, what you don't like, what interests you, what don't interest you. You understand he's preying on you. So if you're verbalizing, I am attracted to Asian men the enemy is going to use that against you and that's the danger of putting God in a box let's say you're like God my heart's desire says that I'm attracted to Asian men so I feel like God should take that into consideration when picking my spouse what if what God has for you does not fit what you would have preferred you put God in a box like it's only gonna be an Asian man well the devil's gonna start sending you all kinds of Asian men men that are not good for you men that might seem godly that aren't you made your preference such a determining factor such a spiritual determining factor that any Asian man that comes towards you you will think that he's from God because that is your preference and that's a dangerous place to be because first of all you might be canceling out God's perfect will for you because it might not necessarily be an Asian person and sometimes we think we know it's good for us when we don't your husband can come in different packages it is just a package and I you seem like the type of girl who is very open to being submissive to God and very open to allowing God to have his perfect will so I don't worry about you too much I feel like you're gonna be the type of person who understands God will above all so I would just tell you not to get so stuck up on what a person looks like because at the end of the day you don't want to put God in a box the enemy will use that against you if you think God 
is only going to give me an Asian person, okay? You never want to put God in a box. One. Two, you're saying that it is your heart's desire. And you know, the Bible talks about God will give us the desires of our hearts. And you're like, you know, it's my heart desire. Shouldn't that be part of the equation? Shouldn't God take that into consideration? Like, that's what I desire. And God said he'll give me the desires of my heart. Okay. Here's the thing with that. The Bible definitely does say that God will give you the desires of your heart. But what does the verse say before that? It says, delight yourself in the Lord then he will give you the desires of your heart. That means you have to first delight yourself. And the idea of delighting yourself is really being excited about God, loving God to the fullest, being completely committed to God. Like, I get excited about God's will. I get excited about whatever God wants to do. I delight myself in everything that has to do with God. If you're at that place, you are more than likely open to whatever God wants to do. So don't think that it's our man-made mentality that that's what fuels our desire. No, the Bible says, delight yourself in the Lord and then he will give you the desires of your heart. So you have to delight yourself, see God's will, embrace God's will, love God's will, and then your desire will shift to God's will, which then he will give you that shifting. Not what's in yourself, but that shifting, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So number one, don't put God in the box. Number two, he will give you the desires if they align with his will if you are delighting yourself in him just be open to whatever god wants to give you you never know like a lot of times we cancel people out because we think we wouldn't be attracted to them we don't think that blah 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 when they're the best person for us ultimately you have to trust god to bless you with whoever he wants to bless you with believe me Whoever God has for you, you will be attracted to. If it's God's perfect will for you, you will be attracted to that man, regardless if he's white, black, purple, pink, green, yellow. But also, if you ever find yourself confused, there's a surefire way of becoming unconfused, if that's a word. So the Bible talks about that wherever self-seeking is, confusion and every evil thing is also there. If you ever find yourself confused, it's because there is a confliction between doing God's will and your will. And the Bible says wherever there is self-seeking, there will be confusion there. So you got God's will, self-seeking, these things together cause confusion. So if you take self-seeking out, because where self-seeking is, confusion is, if you take self-seeking out, you'll be left with God's will and no confusion because self-seeking has confusion. Self-seeking brings confusion when it butts against the will of God. So if you ever find yourself confused, find out where you're self-seeking. It is your will, your preference to be with somebody Asian. That's not necessarily God's will. If now God, God can do whatever he wants, he's sovereign. If he flat out tells you somehow this is what he's going to bless you with, follow that. But make sure it's God. Make sure it's God. Make sure it's confirmed through people that you trust people that you know hear from God, people who bear good fruit, that that thing is confirmed, that that is what God's going to give you, then you can start to lean on that. But if you ever find yourself confused, see what you're self-seeking. Whatever you can find, like, okay, self wants this, the opposite is more than likely God's will. So I hope that also helps. So if you find yourself confused, find out where you're self-seeking at and then realize that that is probably why you're confused and do the opposite of what yourself wants to do, what the flesh wants to do. So yeah, I hope all of that made sense. Like I said, if it blessed you, glory be to God. Also, if you ever want to ask me my opinion on anything or you want to get my perspective on something, you can hit me up. I'll put my Gmail down on the screen or you can hit me up through YouTube or you can send me a message on any of my social media platforms. All of those handles will be down below in the video description box. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so we can become family. Also, give this video a big, big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Lastly, if you want to follow me on social media, like I said, all of my handles will be down below in the video description box. And I'll see you guys on the next one because I'm hungry and I can barely get my words out. I probably didn't see it because I edited it out, but I, it was a struggle for me to say most of, most of this because I'm hungry. You see, I'm, I'm already mess it up okay so i will see you guys in the next video bye y'all i don't know if you know this but beautiful things don't need attention